from the spot, Ordonez. Tie game again. Entering the league at 20 was a little bit intimidating. Went to college when I was 17, and I just felt like in every situation, whether it was on the field or in the classroom, that I just wasn't experienced or qualified enough to kind of be in those spaces. I think once I kind of came into my rookie year and I, I started surrounding myself with players who had a, a ton of experience, they just kind of showed me that it didn't matter how old I was, that if I had the ability and I had the experience and I had the maturity to be here, that I was qualified to lead, not just play, but also be a leader and inspire other people around me. Oh, that's over. Si puedes ir dos veces si tienes. I'm 22 years old now and in my second year in the league, just going on with, with my career and, and living my dream. So to get to do that at a younger age is nothing but a blessing and, and I think I let it be a hindrance for a little bit too long. My name is Deanna Ordonez, forward for the Houston Dash, and I'm a game changer. Oh, I don't know. I first found soccer through my family. Coming from a Hispanic background, it's kind of the dominant sport. I grew up in a very blended family. My dad is from Ecuador. He was born there and he moved to the United States when he was 11. My mom was born in California, but her parents, my grandparents are Mexican. I think for a long time, especially because of where I grew up, a little bit north of Dallas, Texas, there just wasn't a lot of diversity. I didn't feel like my culture was very much expressed outside of my household. <laughs> I definitely felt like I didn't really have like a Mexican-American role model in that way. I feel like once I became more in tune with my background and, and who I am and where I come from, it helped me fuel a lot of where I am now, especially moving to the Mexican national team. I feel like every time I go back to camp, I'm back in touch with my roots. It just feels like home. And that was a big reason why I wanted to switch federations in the first place. I think our game has gotten so much more diverse especially in the United States, and I think that's a really beautiful thing. And I, I think it's important for young men and women coming up that they can see people just like them that can achieve their goals. The beginning of my rookie season, when I debuted, I played 10 minutes. My parents were over the moon and I just was not satisfied. I knew in my heart that I wanted to play, I wanted to start. I felt like I had a lot to contribute to the team, but I knew I had to earn it. Ordonez! Ordonez again! Ordonez! And of course, it's Deanna Ordonez again! Deanna Ordonez, 11th goal this season. I scored 11 goals last year, which is the record high for a rookie in a season. <laughs> it's like rolling back on you. You're like learning from my mistakes. I always wanted to come to Houston. I wanted to play closer to my family because they're in Dallas. And I always knew that at some point in my career that was something that I wanted to do. Oh, that's crazy. She wants to raise her standard every day and push herself every day and raise the standard of this team. No, Lindsay, you go. Lay it and then check out and then Maria goes in and then you play wide. If she pushes herself to do that, it kind of pushes everyone around her to do that. 10, nice. I'm thankful that she pushes me every day and I'm thankful she pushes the organization to grow even better. Well, I think this season, especially coming off of last year, scoring 11 goals, and I had very high expectations. And I learned that there's always going to be highs and lows in your seasons, and hopefully as long as a career as I hope that I have, it'll happen again. I think she has big aspirations for herself, which is awesome to see. That's exactly what this Houston Dash team needed. I know that maybe this year wasn't the year she envisioned, but her attitude and her work ethic towards what her vision is will get her there. I'm really just trying to focus on who I'm becoming in the process and the type of teammate that I'm being. I want to, I want to be a leader, but I want to serve my teammates. I think at the end of the day, if I work hard, the goals will come, but people aren't going to remember, you know, how many goals you score. They're going to remember how you made them feel. <laughs> what? <laughs> her heart is so big and her love of this game and love of her teammates and the team itself is just ginormous. Mordonia's going to strike it a goal! Without her, it's quite clear that we're kind of missing, you know, a little bit of us. When she's with us, whether it's on or off the field, you know, you just know she's there. I want to make an impact on and off the field. I want to be a great player. 
and just try and be a good teammate and a good person. Caroline just working her magic, and then look at her Donia, just an easy tap in in the end. I want to be someone who not only leads, you know, by example, someone who's willing to just be there for other people. Donia's again. Esteem my teammates higher than myself, put their needs before mine, and make sure that they know that I'm dependable, that they can trust me, and, and that I'm going to be there for them.